When we pray for justice, we must know that the Lord, through the ages, always used people. And Shaw was one of those men. Edmund Burke many years ago said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And we all know that Shaw decided that he's not going to do nothing, he's going to do something. He's going to stand up to the criminal elements of the Western Cape and South Africa. He's going to stand up to corruption. And that costed him his life. And words like committed, dedicated, principled, fearless, what I heard today, mindful, protective and vigilant, but also a family man, a dad, someone who cared, someone who had values and went about their daily life living those values to make a difference for the people in this province and, this, and in this country. The South African Police Services and members of the police are, in the words of the Human Rights Commission, the first human rights defenders because they defend, protect, and serve. And when that first defender of human rights get killed and murdered the way Charles Green happened to him, as the Human Rights Commission is saying, to the minister and the generals, no stone must be left unturned until all of those who've been involved in this crime be brought to book. South African Police Service. During the year 2019-2020, we lost 77 police officers who were murdered both on and off duty. During this current financial year, which is effective from the 1st of April 2020 to date, we lost 29 police officers who were murdered on and off duty. 13 while on duty and 16 while off duty.
think the time has come here that it's better and correct to die on your feet rather than to live on your knees. He refused to live on his knees and he died on his feet. And all of us, we must join there. Let's die on our feet rather than to live on our knees. My dad was a selfless man. My dad would wake up every morning, half past four, when some of you are still sleeping and he'd be out there fighting and serving the country. The ones expressing the words of General Jeremy Vian when he says, No retreat, no surrender. We will rage till the last drop of blood. Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. This is the word of the Lord. busy, I think pulled up to our last send-off um, and I think yeah now today it or from now it really starts I think you know um, I think it's a new chapter for us um, learning to get along I think with our team um, yeah it's gonna be tough we were together for 36 years so it's a lifetime but um, yeah by God's grace we'll take it day by day mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nikki what is your message to crime he fought for crime and to change um, and that's why I kept on doing what he was doing and we're really praying that his death is going to be that turning point in the not only in SAPS but in I think in all our law enforcement in our justice system be it the walks be it law enforcement SAPS um, that we just don't walk away from a grave and just say it's yet another grave but it we really as the Minister also said, it doesn't matter who it is and where you are, you know, we need to eradicate that, the criminal element.